yes, I do like a side of pancakes with my syrup. So mornings in my house are a complete hot mess. Um, my babies usually wake up around 6.30. They're like reared up, ready to go. I am not. So I stumble down the stairs, I get my coffee, and we kind of, we play together for a little bit, and then I love to cook. It's something that I love to do in the morning with the kids, whether it's egg in the hole, scrambled eggs. And one of the things I like to make is my banana pancakes. One thing that I find is that if I take away a step, it makes it so much easier to get things done when it gets a little mad and crazy for time. So I quadruple a recipe. One day when you have a little extra time, you make a big container of the dry mix, which is your flour, your baking powders, your cinnamon, things like that. And then I just keep it in a big ball jar. And instead of having like a packaged, you know, pre-done pancake mix, you have your dry mix. So in the morning when you're ready to go, you just take a scoop of that, add your wet mix, you got pancakes. Another hack is that you can just have your wet mix done the night before too. So instead of in the morning having ah, uh, it takes away a little bit of the ah, uh, and uh, you just have a little bit of ah. Uh. So for your dry mix, you're gonna do one and a half cups of spelt flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. So for the wet mix, you're gonna use one banana and mash it up. You're gonna put in one and a quarter cups milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then you're gonna whisk in two eggs and one tablespoon of melted butter. Or coconut oil, whatever you have handy. So the first part in making my banana pancakes is putting together your dry mix. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of spelt flour. You can use any flour you want. You can use a white whole wheat, you can use like a whole wheat pastry, you can use regular flour. One of the things that I like about spelt though is that it has protein in it, and I'm really trying to get more protein into my kids before they are off on their day. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon cinnamon. You could add nutmeg, you could add a little cardamom, you can add whatever flavors you enjoy. You could add ginger. Um, recipes like this, it's really just take it as a base and then put in whatever you like. Put in the flavors you like. Sometimes I wouldn't even do banana. You could do fresh, um, you could do applesauce. You could do fresh blueberries. It really, it all kind of works together and you can't really mess it up. So what I do when I make this is triple the recipe and this is how I keep it in a ball jar with your little recipe there so you have it so you don't forget. It keeps it really easy and it's just one less step in the morning when it's like crazy with the kids. So now we're gonna actually make our pancakes. We have our dry mix done and now I'm gonna start putting the wet ingredients together. So we have one banana mashed up. I'm gonna add one and a quarter cups of milk. One teaspoon vanilla. I actually love vanilla pastes. I think they have a more intense flavor and we really love vanilla in my family. A tablespoon of butter. A couple of eggs. The kids like to do it, but I will say there's always a shell I gotta go fishing for, which even I just did right now, I think. Got it. So now we're just gonna whisk this up. And usually, actually, I would add the eggs before so that I didn't make as much of a mess, but part of pancakes is making a mess. Okay, so we have our wet ingredients here all mixed together, and then I'm gonna add to it our dry mix. You don't wanna over mix this once it comes together because it can make it a little tough. I don't add any sugar to my pancake mix because I'm gonna put maple syrup on top, and I feel like most recipes do, and it's just adding extra sugar into your kids, which I feel like unless they see it, they don't really know it's missing. I think one of the big things about making recipes with kids is that you wanna make it fun. Teddy knows how to crack eggs or like he'll mash a banana. Um, now I'm letting him kind of help me do the pancakes and it's a process where we've really grown together. He would be here like on the Bjorn from when he was a little one and now he's sitting next to me and he's got his own measuring cups and it's something that we love to do together. So this recipe makes really fluffy pancakes. If you like yours a little thinner, you just add a little bit more milk. So what we're gonna do is, you know, turn on your stove and put in a tablespoon of butter. The other thing I love that I recently got is this spatula. I think it's like a fish spatula, but for me, I just it's easy when I scoot in the oven and I don't wanna get something out, or I'm flipping pancakes and nothing breaks in half because it's so long. You wanna make sure that your butter is bubbling. 
And I usually use about a quarter cup. But actually, guys, because we're making bigger pancakes, I'm gonna make half cup pancakes today because we're going for bigger pancakes. One of the reasons I created this banana pancake recipe is that it's really versatile. So for me, I'm experimenting with flours that just have a little bit more protein in them because I'm trying to get that into my kids before they start their day. I love the banana because it helps make it really fluffy. I use whole milk because I give that to my kids, but you can use almond milk, you can use soy milk, um, fat-free. It's like really versatile in that way. You could make flax eggs um, and you could use like an earth balanced butter or some kind of non-dairy butter. I'm giving this pancake so much attention. No pancake has ever had this much attention in my life. So realistically, this whole process is like 10 minutes and then you're flipping the pancakes for another five on a really good day. Maybe give yourself 20. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take your my pancakes. I like to slice up a banana on top, the pecans. You could also, I actually did this one morning, put a little butter in the pan and then throw your bananas and your pecans in there with a little bit of syrup and it like caramelizes them and then dump that on top. I mean, it just keeps getting better the more time you have. And then I take the syrup. And I'm sorry, yes, I do like a side of pancakes with my syrup. La! And there you have my banana pecan pancakes. Or banana pancakes, or applesauce pancakes, or whatever works for you. <laughs>